Turning now to the King Fire, crews expect to fully contain the massive wildfire by Saturday. The recent rain sure helped. The latest numbers show the fire's not really grown in the past few days. The fire's still a little larger than 97,000 acres. Cal Fire says containment is now 89%, and more than 4,000 firefighters are still on the front lines. The work is far from over, of course, for those firefighters. KCRA3's Claire Dewan is live for us in Placerville. So, what are they focused on really at this point, Claire? Well, Edie, we are here at the base camp where a lot of these firefighters and resources are expected to decrease in the coming days. That's as they continue mopping up and homeowners continue cleaning up. Um, the barbecue grill. Yeah. And a bar over there, all burnt down. But Roland Pruner is grateful his trailer near White Meadows was spared, though the flames got dangerously close, melting the thermometer on his shed. How does it feel looking at this area and having it be completely different than what you know of? Sickening. Real sickening, yeah. You know, so beautiful like that over there. Now all of a sudden it's, you know, nothing. Some homeowners are returning to nothing. Still, they and others now have to clean the ash and debris on their properties. They need to wear a uh, dust mask when they're removing it, but containing all of that ash, putting it in one area, and then moving it off the site. Meantime, Cal Fire is cutting unstable trees, mopping up hot spots, and finishing its fire line around the nearly 100,000 acres of charred land. However, we are entering a warm, dry period, so we expect that some of the heavier fuels in, within the perimeter of the fire. Uh, will start smoking again. While that smoke continues to linger over these blackened areas, the county says the impact should be minimal. I wouldn't be concerned about any long-term toxic effects from wood smoke. Wood smoke is generally somewhat uh, less toxic than, say, smoke from uh, diesel emissions. Pruner says cleaning up the debris is only one component of this community rebuilding. It's something you always expect, but uh, it never happened, you know, so it's always behind your mind. But uh, goes to show you it happens. The burned area emergency response team, also known as the Bear Team, they are expected to arrive here on Wednesday. They are in charge of stabilizing critical areas, preventing flooding and runoffs. Reporting live in El Dorado County, Claire Dwan, KCRA 3 News. Claire, thank you.